that got involved in the accident, you know, yeah. we towed our truck out and we had $50,000 worth of dogs in the back and in the crate. And uh, if they hadn't have been in that crate, I don't know what would have happened to them. But it, it did it, it, it did save all their lives. Everything's going along just fine. All of a sudden, that happens and it gives you appreciation for life and appreciation for, for your dogs a little more and just thanking God for being here. Just the size of them, the desire of them, and the want to please um, aspect of them is, is what I really look for in a good cocker. Parker, he's a, I reckon I was very fortunate him being my first dog to get the, the, I'll have to go through a lot of dogs to ever get one as good as he is. Gunner is a, about a 20 week old male, but he was born after the accident we had and because the kennel saved the dogs. That's what I named Gunner. Born and raised in Georgia in 1958. Uh, we managed these forests for, for quail hunting. I started using flushing dogs back in the early 80s um, after I started guiding commercially. Parker, heal! Heal! All right, you ready to go? You wanna go get another bird? It's got the desire, I mean, you don't have to spend a lot of time training. Most of us just come and sit and stay and, and all that kind of stuff. But about nine months to a year, you pretty much tell what kind of dog you're gonna have. So, uh, growing up, you know, everybody had a special dog that ran through the woods with them and stayed with them in the summertime, and running around the woods barefooted. And, fishing at the pond, just enjoying life, when life was simple. We've been able to hunt people from all over the country and get to know a lot of people and uh, make friends with them, see their places and hunt on their places a little bit. So. And it's all because of the hunting and the dogs.